Greetings to you. This is Dr. O, the PA Pro, otherwise known as Omar Abdul Malik. Tonight, I'm going to talk to you guys about how to choose a lab coat for school. Now, for those of you all who are in uh, physician assistant school or medical school, um, you're, you're applying and, or you just got in, um, you're probably going to be required to purchase a short lab coat. Uh, this is the lab coat in which you're going to be doing your clinicals. And, you know, I, I work as a hospitalist at a, at a hospital here in Washington, D.C. I also see the pharmacy students wearing short lab coats also. Um, one of the things you want to look for is quality of material because what happens is you're doing your rotations. You know, you get, uh, you're brushing up against walls and things and you're, you got your hands on the desk and there. you're doing a lot of writing. So your sleeves can get dirty. And then what happens also is that the, the neck of the jacket can get dirty also. So you want something that's easy to, to clean. This particular uh, line of jacket is made by Medline. It's probably one of the biggest producers of, of lab coats in the country. And it's comprised of mostly 80% polyester, 20% cotton. There are, I, I have spoken with um, companies that, that, you know, they're very exclusive and they do 100% cotton um, lab coats. I wouldn't suggest getting a 100% cotton lab coat. They pick up uh, dirt and grime very, very easily. They're, they're hard to keep clean. Uh, and it's, it's um, you know, they, they can tend to fray. It looks very good, you know, when you, once you get out of school and you're making some money, you can get your name and your title emblazoned on, on the lapel. Um, I, I really wouldn't suggest that. I, I would suggest sticking with something that's more economic. This jacket is, is only uh, $20, and I, I think I'm going to do a giveaway for those of you guys that are PA students. If you, if you text me, I'll give you my number, and if you say, look, you, you really, really need a jacket but are having trouble affording it, I'm going to um, send some people some, some jackets. Uh, I think I'll do that. I'm going to do that. Uh, but this jacket's really great. It's, it's got very wide, deep pockets. Now, when I was a student, before everybody was walking around with um, PDAs and, and smartphones, we actually had to have these big books, uh, you know, uh, in, our, in our pockets, in our, our medical equipment. So I, I would look for a jacket with, with really deep pockets. Um, I, I think I mentioned also, um, don't bleach your, your jacket. If you're going to use bleach, use color fast bleach. Be sure to keep the collar clean. And what happens if you use con just regular bleach for white things, um, it's going to bleach the, the, um, the patch. You're going to be, probably be required to buy a school patch representing your program, whether it's med school or physician assistant school. Uh, dentistry or, or school of pharmacy um, with the with the um, I, I guess the, the uh, school name and the college name and then some kind of badge but what will happen is it'll bleach the uh, the patch also I found that out the, the hard way when I was a student um, when you finish your program you get a long white coat at your white coat Ceremony and that's that's always an exciting time uh, Again, I, I always I like coats that are you know, not just economical, but are, are easy to clean so in the in the um, You know my work at the hospital. I, I'm very well aware that I'm Representing my profession my, my physician assistant profession, but I'm also representing the hospital So I always want to get something that's gonna make me look look neat and is practical also, this is a company called ADAR Medical Uniforms. I've never seen this before, so it's, it's new to me, but I really like the, the way this jacket looks. It's, it's, it's very white and clean. Look for something that is it's not too loose, so it's hanging off of you like a bag, but not too tight either. You know, so I, I like, this is a, a medium size. I think I'm in jacket size. I'm actually a size 42. But I, I think I'm going to maybe get a large. This seems to look, I think this fits me well. I'm wearing a, a sweater or a vest here. So I might get one that's a little bit larger. Uh, you can also, it says look inside. 
more pockets. So I always look for things that have pockets. Yeah, for me, I'm always sticking. Sometimes I, I have ophthalmoscopes or pen lights or reflex hammers, you know, with me. So I'm assessing patients. And you know, these are only. This is twenty-five dollars. Uh, if you're in PA school or medical school, you're pro you're going to be taking gross anatomy. So your your program may even require you to buy a long um, lab coat as well. I would not suggest buying a brand new long lab coat. You can get them from your from your thrift store, or uh, there's there's online um, there's online uh, stores that that um, sell used lab coats also. Because you you know your lab coat's just gonna get all <laughs> messy. You gotta come out of the uh, gross lab smelling like formaldehyde anyway. So I, I wouldn't spend a lot of money on a brand new long lab coat unless I actually had to. But I, I think um, you know I think there's not a whole lot to say about about lab coats. Uh, try to stay away from a, a lab coat that's 100% cotton. I find they're very difficult to to keep clean. Uh, you know, ironing them is, is uh, a very time-consuming task, and uh, even taking them to the local laundry, the, the uh, cleaners to have them dry cleaned, can also be expensive. Uh, but you know, it's the lab coat. It's, it's part of our our tradition as uh, as clinicians. Uh, if you have any questions about how to become a physician assistant or a doctor or any other um, job in the healthcare. Field, uh, please subscribe to my my channel. I also do interviews with with uh, people in other aspects of the allied health, and I hope that you find it uh, beneficial. Uh, you can reach me. I'm going to put my contact information in the description section of the uh, of the video. But uh, I wish you all the very best of success in your endeavors. Peace.